sir. I'm here with Mikey Charlie. Charlie? Yeah. <laughs> Mikey Charlie in the mix. Of course, of course. Yeah. Eventually, I started out uh, playing keyboards. I was also working at a radio station. That's where I learned from other DJs that were playing at the station. So I watched them learn their techniques, and learn the types of songs that they pick. And then from there, I took it on my own, and back home, I am a DJ on my own, and then... I would say, definitely always go with your passion, play what you want to play. Um, obviously, in so certain situations, you're playing a, to the crowd, you still have to play, play the crowd, to you're playing as well. for yourself. And then when you do that, that's when you get the best results. Yeah, actually, going back to what I was saying, like, so at the live to air, one time, like, when I was still picking up the craft, one of the DJs, like, this was while the club was going on, the DJ's like, hey, play a couple songs. So I was like, oh, like, I was super nervous, right? But yeah. I got through it. So, you know, it's just a good learning experience. So even though you're nervous, you always just keep poised and you know what you're doing. Like, be confident in what you're doing, be confident in yourself, and everything will be all right. And how long have you been DJing for? I've been DJing now for eight years. Eight years. So I got into nice. DJing okay. from my uh, uh, Eric Dukey, DJ Reverse DJ. Uh, but it all led into having a musical family. We have a steel drum band playing in it since You just end up reaching out into all aspects of music from there. So yeah, that's how I got into DJing. I've been DJing for since I was 15 years yeah, old. Yeah, I think there's uh, one thing right off the bat is uh, there's a lot of room for Quite new DJs. I think right now there's like, especially in like nightclubs and bars, and, uh, right across the from everything like MCs, they're missing out on new DJs. So. We, we actually need, we're lacking all the new, the new. generation of DJs in there. So um, what I think is uh, stuff like what we're doing here in the school um, can help a little bit, but uh, yeah, we, uh, my tips would just be to like listen to the, all the DJs that are out there right now and um, yeah, there's tutorials, or if you have the life I get to doing, uh, talk to real DJs. But otherwise, yeah, if you if you love music, you're gonna like want to do it. And, like go into like local music stores and like mess around with their equipment that they let you, um, and, like save your money up for stuff. But like uh, another thing too is you don't have to have the uh, the most expensive equipment. Just like work with what you have, right? Like I started off with like crappy equipment and like worked my way up. So yeah, I think that's like uh, a good way to start. Right? So I pick the sp I can pick the spots in it that I want the cue points to be. So I picked the very beginning spot there and that first kick drum. Um, I would say, yeah, like um, when I, the first thing I played at officially was like at a, a high school event in front of like kids my same age, right? So I was like 15, um, a bunch of kids at, um, at a school dance. Right. It's kind of thing where I remember being a bit nervous. practice like that at a time. time. But once you start into your group, you kind of know what you're doing. So like kind of thing where the anticipation of playing can make you nervous. But once, once you, once you're ready to go, I think, yeah, you like get your headphones on and you get in your zone. So, yeah, um, I think it's it's a normal thing for anybody uh, nervous for the first time DJing and performing.